Hello and welcome once again to Chrono Trigger. We just brought some seeds up from below and we found something out very important. Then in the year 1999, the far flung future of 1999, I, that was actually kind of funny. Once I. <laughs> Everyone jerks around weirdly. But anyway, <laughs> in the far flung future of 1999, the world ends when a giant porcupine shoots itself up out of the ground to destroy all of humanity. Of course, it's not a porcupine, it is Lavos. And we've decided we are going to stop it. No more of the actually really, really pretty music that happened at the end of the last episode uh, because we reloaded back in, but I don't know. This music has a bit of a ring to it as well, but we are off to Lab 32. In order to get this bike, we have a bike key, which somehow is a thing. So there is another possibility. There is another way to go in the sewer access, but actually I want to show that just a little bit just to show you that this is probably not the place for us. Bandits must report to Sir Crowley. may very well be possible to get through. So on my very first way through, th these things just have a ton of health. That's what it is. Whoa. They have a lot more health than the monsters in, what was it, Lab 16 that we were in before? But we might actually be able to traverse this. There was a bridge here. I saw it, Ribbit. Fool, Ribbit. There's nothing here. But, but it's true, Ribbit. Someone's coming. Let's spray him, Ribbit. <laughs> I'm gonna experiment with voices because it's fun. And I have an excuse to. Uh, anything over? Nope, nope, no nope. Chrono shaking his head. This is a tad on the spooky side. This is an eerie place. I've got a bad feeling about this. Oh. Well, actually, what's on the other side? Let's let's test this. Oh, eggshells. And a treasure chest. Alright. So this dungeon right now will actually be a pretty solid challenge. Which is good. I like challenges. Normally you would do this later in the game. Um, but it is doable. They've opened up access. So, by gum, we're going to do it. I was planning on going to Protodome until I realized that I could go this way. Let's go. Down the stairs. Kitty. Um. So, this is where you find out that noises attract these things. You also find out that they're magical. Stop shooting... Stop shooting Chrono with lightning. <laughs> Please. Let's do Aura on Chrono. Yeah, alright. So it seems like we're just strong enough to deal with this. 
<laughs> so, the main concern here will be the boss. Because if you haven't noticed, a lot of the bosses are sort of leveled around the assumption that you can one-shot most of the stuff getting up to it. So, some situation... Ooh, ooh. There's a diary. Here's the last page. It's all over. The fishmen attack if I make even the slightest noise. I'd rather have my gums scraped than have to fight these fiends. Ugh. Ugh. Come here, gum scraped is, uh... I, that, that just has a visceral reaction from me. And I like these little cues that it has. A little kitty. <laughs> and then the can. But, uh... The, the thing about the gum scraped is actually an interesting thing. Because when I was in 7th grade, I was actually really terrible at taking care of my teeth. And so I just didn't do it every once in a while. Or at all for a couple years <laughs> and so I got these really nasty cavities and when I was in seventh grade I had two root canals and they were both on lower molars on on opposite sides of my mouth and it was rough they gave me I mean they gave me some pretty solid medication for it, but obviously to save just a little bit of money, and also uh, to not to not <laughs> give me just an overdose of pain anesthetic, um, they didn't give me the, the strongest stuff, and so I actually would feel it every once in a while to, to where um, uh, I would... As the operation was going on, every once in a while it just felt like somebody poked the inside of my gum with like a needle. And it was the it was the roughest time. I will say it was a far worse experience than getting my wisdom teeth removed, because I was knocked out to get my wisdom teeth removed. Yeah. And now I have to kill the rat too. <laughs> I like how the rat attracts them. This is one of the best reasons to stock up on a ton of tonics. If you're... If you're not doing silly stuff, then you'll easily survive any of these encounters. But, the just the war of attrition that will happen... Uh, tends to wear you down. So, stocking up on a bunch of tonics is actually a good thing. There. There we go. XP, 200 gold. And I know it's supposed to be gill, but gold just makes sense. Oh yeah, this is a clever one. <laughs> Guess what? Every time... Yep. <laughs> I jumped the first time that I had seen that. I wonder if I can do a fire whirl. Let's see if I can do a fire whirl. Nope. Uh, well, okay. It was worth it to see. I'll do an aura whirl here in just a bit. Oh. Actually, it seems like Chrono's really the only one that's significantly hurt. Yeah, they're, they're just spread out enough. That makes me kind of frustrated. 
Makes me wish I had some of my late-end abilities. But... This is good, though, that I went here. It's actually good that I started over then, because whenever I was playing through on the uh, Super NES version, I uh, did not go this way, because I wasn't confident that I could finish it. But you also notice in the Super NES version, I kept saying, like, oh man, this this thing's super tough, oh, this thing's super difficult, and it's like, uh, no, no, all these things are pushovers. <laughs> Now, now we're going to be risk takers. All right. There we go. I knew we had mid tonics. But let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Ah, eggs. Uh, can a slash work? Oh, will they move? Yes, good. Boom. It's always so satisfying to be able to line things up and hit them perfectly. Yep, there's the switch for it. Oop, 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 there we go. Open! What's over this way? Nothing? Nothing. Nothing at all. Feels like I'm opening nothing at all. Oh, down into here. Press the switch and the bridge opens, Ribbit. I don't know what what accent I'm trying to do. So, switch on, Ribbit. Ribbit. It's out of reach, Ribbit. And you call yourself a frog, Ribbit. Grab it. Someone's coming. Let's scram. Grab it. <laughs> Jap <laughs> Japanese entertainment has some very interesting humor. Oh, that guy's back. Got one rage band. Can I put that on? What does that do? Also, you notice there's a bit more oh I guess that's 50% more counter attack rate oh no, no ah I'm silly uh that is I don't think I want to put it on right now it's something that's really useful for normal monsters but anything that has a counter attack it uh doesn't work quite as well the three of them are almost here Coming through the sewer like they own it. They must have a death wish. We shall teach them a lesson. Let's show them. Hee hee hee. Just let them come through here. They'll be chopped liver. Ha 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 ha. Hee 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 hee. Ha 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 ha. Huh? So we have normal music for this, but this is obviously... Obviously a boss fight. And that does a lot of damage. <laughs> Accidentally used Dara on Marl. Oops! <laughs> Chrono might die. <laughs> she really needed that zero hit points to come back. There we go. Uh, Luca could use something.
Yeah, that's a rough attack. Does it always do? Yeah, it always does all but one. So, the key here... seems to be just to make sure people are... There we go. I think that was the, the attack that made me worried. Was the one where he's just like, oh yeah, by the way, I'm just going to take all of your HP but one. That has to be the one where I was just like, oh, I'm supposed to be here much later. There are other enemies that do that, and it is always frustrating. Always frustrating. But, we got through. There we go. And, got one Bolt Sword. And, now we can cross regularly, at our leisure. And it's helpful because this is... That's a Bolt Sword. But this, if I'm not mistaken, is the sewer exit. I was about to say, don't lie to me, game. So, it says stay off of Death Peak. Let's be adventurous. Hmm. We are not going fast. Oh! Alright. Well, I guess we're not supposed to be there, then. The Keeper's Dome? That's an interesting... Bum. Bum, bum, bum. Hmm. Interesting. Got a gentleman up there. Got a computer that refuses to turn on. We've got... Strange Creature. I am pleased you think me worthy, O Wise One. I await your final program code. Now, don't go getting all emotional on me, Critter. Back to work now. Hmm. Shala, I've missed you so. No! You must not climb Death Peak! wouldn't make it very far anyway. It has to be the right time. And they have to show you the way. Say, did you see my masterpieces? The Ocean Palace and the Blackbird? I designed and built them both. What, what are you talking about? Oh. Well, one, the Blackbird is a modern stealth fighter, so... Cur a curious crest. Not a strange crest. A curious crest. So. This guy's really strangely dressed, too. Alright. So. We have no idea what this crazy guy's talking about. There's not, there's not much convincing us that he's anything but crazy. So, let's just be on our way. And... Let's head back through. It is quite convenient that we don't have to deal with all of that moving through. We, we do still have to fight these guys, but... We can do that pretty easily. There. And... There. And... We do still have to deal with this, but... Hopefully we can avoid most of it. If we wanted to, we could fight some more of those 
mermen, but we're gonna we're gonna just bypass that. That and that. And we are out. Only one fight seems reasonable. Alright, so we are going to lab 32. Let us do so. Oh. oh. <laughs> Oops. I messed up. I messed up. No, we're actually going to lab 32. But, just wanted to pick this up. A mid tonic. All right, and here's the bike. Strangely 80s for a bike made in the far-flung future, but... Oh, hold it right there. Hey, it's the man. Like, thanks for the intro, babe. The man! <laughs> you lowlifes can call me Johnny. Now listen up. Part of an old highway leads through these ruins. Think you can beat me in a bike race? Use that jet bike, and don't chicken out, babe. Do you know how to ride? Uh, okay. So. Alright, listen up. The gas is on auto, so there's only one speed. Fast. Use a controller to steer. Press the circle button for a turbo boost. Give you three of them, but it takes a moment to recharge between boosts. Check your position at the bottom of the screen. Now, show me what you got, babe. All right. So we're not going to be fighting these these guys. Winning does that to Johnny's hair. <laughs> the man rides like a roller coaster. Oh, they just say the same thing. You say anything new? Don't chicken out, babe. Alright. Alright. So let's go. This is another mini game that comes up. We basically have to stay in front of him. We have to be the one in the front at the end of the race. Uh, it sounds obvious and sounds simple enough, but as you notice, this is not a traditional sort of racing mini game. There are no turns, there are no, really, strategies or anything. It's just two people vying for the position. There we go. Got it in one. <laughs> Last time I played through, it was actually really frustrating because I, <laughs> I think it took like three or four tries to do it, but got this one in one. See, see, I'm not going to pretend that I do this perfectly. I will say, though, that the bike is very Toriyama. Um, if, you don't, if you don't know Toriyama's work, then read the Dragon Ball manga, or Dragon Ball Z, anything like that. And you'll, you'll see technology very similar to that. But, you beat me. I don't get it. You can challenge me anytime. We'll ride the wind, babe. All right, and we are here, the other side, passing straight past the Empire State Building and the Empire State Crater. Um, we're not going to talk about that one quite as much, but we're going to be in the Protodome. Let's see if we can find this gate. Looks like these guys are going to be a problem. I wanted to see if lightning does anything extra. Ah, eh, well, it, it took it out at least. Alright, they don't do enough damage. That's sort of the unfortunate thing. <laughs> they don't actually do enough damage to be able to take one of those guys out in one hit. There we go. 
some reason that one didn't counterattack. But morals level up. Still in the possessive. And let's actually do this as well so we can get the Innertron. So, let's try and take three of them out. Uh, that didn't work quite as well as I had hoped. Well, here we go. <laughs> That's interesting. So apparently the fire they're resistant to, but if Chrono would have just done his regular Cyclone, it would have been... Uh, oh well. What's that up? Well, we're, it looks like we're gonna have to figure out what that is up there. I'm still hungry. Alright. Let's see if we can get this door open. Oh, what's that? This is another boss fight? What? What's this? It's in bad shape, but it appears to be a humanoid robot. Incredible. I think I can fix it. W what? It might attack us. I'll make sure it won't. Machines aren't capable of evil. Humans make them that way. She is. <laughs> Luca, you pity them, don't you? Let me get to work now, okay? It's interesting thinking about that, though. Um, the, the door won't budge. The uh, the distinction between uh, machines that are meant to destroy and people who use them to destroy. Um, it's 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 something to think about. I'm going to give it some juice. A very well-beloved character. Mo. Good morning, mistress. What is your command? I'm not your mistress. I'm Marl. And this is Chrono. And Luca here fixed you. Understood. Madam Luca fixed me. Just Luca will do. Impossible. That would be rude. Look, I hate formal titles. Don't you, Marl? Hate him. I understand, Luca. All right. Now, what's your name? Name? Ah, my serial number. It is R-66Y. R-66Y. Cool. No, that won't do at all. Come on, Chrono, let's give him a better name. Alright, so, welcome our next party member, Robo. Robo, Robo, that's perfect. Your new name is Robo, okay? I am Robo. Data storage complete. Hey Robo, why aren't there any people here? What? What has happened here? There were many humans, and others of my kind in this dome. I think something awful happened here. It would appear so. But how is it that you survived? We came through a time warp from the year 1000. While exploring Eris Dome, we learned there was a gate here. We found you when we came looking for the gate. 
But the door of the inner chambers is locked, so we're out of luck. Hmm. The power is off. If we go to the factory up north, I can pass through security and activate the dome's generator. You'd do that for us? You repent me. Now it's my turn, my turn, to help you. But the generator won't run for long, so someone must stay behind to open the door while the power's on. Then Marl or I will stay. Who will stay behind? Well, let's have Luca. Yeah, we'll have Luca stay behind. I'd like to keep Aura World. Right. I'll handle things here. And also from a story perspective. Like, she's the more technical one, so she'd probably be better at operating the machinery. Alright. So. Welcome our new mechanical... Uh, well, I was going to try and say something like... Some sort of synonym of friend, but... <laughs> Our new Ferris friend. There we go. <laughs> I was at the very least able to do it in the end. With a tin arm. Tin actually is not that good of an element to have a... A weapon with. It's not the best. Uh... <laughs> Whenever you refuse someone, it always feels like you're putting them down. It's like, ah, oh, looks like you need my genius after all. It's like, oh, no, no, not really. Oh, all right. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna go out into the world. And we are going to save. All right. Let's overwrite that one. We're rolling in the money. But Robo starts at level 10. Hopefully we'll get him up to snuff with the rest of the party. And we'll go from there. We will stop at this part. And in the next episode, we will go into the factory ruins. In order to see what we can do from there. All right. I thank you all for joining me in this, and I hope you come see me next time to this strangely ominous factory. <laughs> but thank you guys. I will see you next time. Have a blessed day.